Hi, this is Shirley from Alaska, the Herb Lady. We're going to talk about juniper berries today. Juniper berries, um, Dr. Christopher, on one of his classes, he was talking about this lady. She came uh, in from uh, South America, and she had been traveling for three days, and uh, she had not been able to void her urine in those three days. So Dr. Christopher, they asked him to come over, and he responded uh, to the house and found her rolling around screaming with pain and he made her some juniper berries and when it was cold enough he knelt down beside the girl and gave her two swallows of juniper berries and and she straightened up right away and smiled and went to the bathroom and voided her urine dr christopher always carried juniper berries around with him in his bag um, and he recommended the other herbalists do the do the same and back then, when he went from house, when people called him, at the house call cost four dollars. <laughs> when I, uh, I never did have a doctor come to me for four dollars. Juniper berries is ancient, known by the Greeks and Romans, and they used it in the 15th and 16th century um, as a cure for plague and an antidote for being bitten by vipers. Juniper berries has been used for flavoring the form of alcohol, which was gin. That's what they put in gin, coming to us from the French wood of juniper. The berries most commonly used uh, came from Hungary, where the oil was expressed and freshly exported. It, it is mentioned in the Bible as a, sim, a symbol of protection. Juniper used uh, poplar for stewing and for disinfecting rooms, the stems of it. The American Indians always made wide use of the herb. They drank the tea of the berries for fever and steamed the, the green to ease the pain of arthritis. Juniper berries is a prime herb for congestion of the kidneys resulting from heart problems. It moves waste material from the system via the kidneys. And not only does the herb work through the urinary tract, but it strengthens and builds the urinary tract and the bladder, as well as the kidneys. The herb acts to take mucus out of the body through the kidneys. Uh, if you have chronic mucus of any organ, just take juniper berries, a cup of tea, and it will uh, get rid of it. It can clear it up. Juniper berries also said to be a disease preventive. Um, Dr. Kelp, uh, the famous kelp water uh, care, advised that who was nursing patients of serious illness such as uh, smallpox, typhus, chira, um, anything that was exposed to um, major diseases. Afterwards, he said, go home and chew, either chew the juniper berries or, or make tea out of it. And they should always uh, take the tea for six to 10 days after they took care of that sick person. Make a strong tea of two or three capsules to take and gargle it first. To, if you was exposed to a contagious disease, that's to keep your immune system up high. Juniper berries is excellent as a spray in a room where it has the patient has a contagious disease as it destroys all the fungus. Juniper berries is a part particular used for dropsy when it's caused by the heart, the liver, and the kidneys. Juniper berries helps strengthen the, the pancreas and the uh, adrenal glands. It's, it's important, very important for diabetics to take juniper berries. Diabetic and hypoglycemic always uh, undergo considerable stress. So we must build the adrenal glands as well as the pancreas. Juniper berries is ideal for this purpose. Uh, Hawthorn berries should be used in conjunction with juniper berries for a permanent effect of healing. Juniper berries is said to be effective and a mild tonic to help with digestion. Juniper berries, dried or moist, can be thrown on a hot rack of a sauna, a sweat lodge, and used for incense or antidote for any swelling in your body. A tincture used to rub on the skin condition combats uh, <clears throat> parasite skin disease, eczema, and psoriasis. Juniper berries often uh, helps to strengthen the brain, the memory, and the optic nerve. Juniper berries, uh, when it's non-medicine, is used for flavoring gin. The sweet in Sweden, 
A beer is made from, uh, made from juniper berries. They say it's a very healthy dr drink. Uh, some consider ju juniper berries necessary for cooking to taste, to help to take the taste of wild meat taste away. Uh, the historical use of uh, juniper berries is kidney ailment to cure the inability to avoid urine, arthritis pain, rheumatoid pain, birth control. It helps to abort babies, uh, to arrest mu mucus discharge, skin infection, chronic mucus in the organs. Uh, it prevents um, any kind of disease, liver and kidney disease. It strengthens the pancreas and the adrenal glands. Uh, it helps with gas, indigestion, painful swelling, skin conditions, parasites, eczema, psoriasis, nerve sciatica, hay fever, nausea, ulcers, ring, ringing in the ear. It improves deafness. It relieves dryness and chapped skin. Commercial oil of juniper is made from the ripe fruit and if it's unripe, it doesn't make a very good oil at all. Uh, it is used for cabinet making. The interior wood is reddish and highly valued because it's extremely durable and a highly colored uh, use to manufacturing wood and even lead pencils. Thanks. Bye.